Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Honda Jet receives its provisional type certification. NASA's journey to Mars continues. And Lightspeed upgrades its Sierra headset. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. The Honda Aircraft Company has announced that the Honda Jet has received its provisional type certification from the FAA. This achievement indicates the FAA's approval of the Honda Jet design based on certification testing, design reviews, and analysis completed to date. Aircraft Company President and CEO Michi Masafujino said in part, quote, provisional type certification for the Honda Jet is a tremendous milestone for the program, and we are pleased to reach the significant step towards customer deliveries and entry into service, end quote. Honda Aircraft is targeting final FAA type certification in the next few months, following the completion of final testing and approval by the FAA. Last week, NASA announced more details on the plan for its asteroid redirect mission, known as ARM, which in the mid-2020s will test a number of new capabilities needed for future human expeditions to deep space, including to Mars. For ARM, a robotic spacecraft will capture a boulder from the surface of a near-Earth asteroid and move it into a stable orbit around the moon for exploration by astronauts. All this in support of advancing the nation's journey to Mars. The ARM robotic spacecraft will test a number of capabilities needed for future human missions. However, it will also be investigating methods of changing the orbit of asteroids that could pose a threat to Earth. Jim Green, director of NASA Planetary Science, said, quote, Asteroids are a hot topic, not just because they could pose a threat to Earth, but also for their scientific value and NASA's planned mission to one as a stepping stone to Mars, end quote. After the break, Lightspeed adds Bluetooth audio to its Sierra headsets. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, send an email to news spy at aero news.net. Lightspeed Aviation has added Bluetooth audio capability to their entry-level Sierra headset, making the entire Lightspeed line of aviation headsets fully compatible with Bluetooth cell phones, music, and audio alerts from aviation apps installed on Bluetooth-capable devices. Lightspeed's Teresa de Mares said, quote, By adding the music functionality, we're responding to the growing number of pilots that are accessing audio alerts from popular navigation apps, end quote. Lightspeed positions Sierra as a value-priced entry into the world of premium a r aviation headsets and sees it as the perfect complement to their popular Zulu 2 and the top-of-the-line Zulu PFX. Each week, we share with you a sample of an online video one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off In the Boeing Vertol 107, New York Airways introduces a new dimension of passenger comfort and convenience in helicopter travel. 
If you love aviation history, you'll find this video of a promotional film from 1962 about luxurious helicopter travel fascinating. You may also ask the question, whatever happened to good service and comfort? Search Boeing Vertol 107 promo film on YouTube. After these messages, if you have an iPad, you can fly this UAV. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've summarized some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. UAV developer Ares launched a Kickstarter campaign for its new concept. It would use an iOS device to pre-plan a flight. All you do is trace the desired path on your iPad and this UAV will follow the trace. Textron Aviation has expanded coverage of its Pro Advantage product support programs to the Hawker 125 series. This includes the Hawker 750, 800, 850, and 900 models, and Hawker 400 series business jets. There will be a vote that could lead to the unionization of employees at Boeing's South Carolina Assembly Facility. Facilitated by the National Labor Relations Board, the one-day election is scheduled to take place on Wednesday, April 22nd. Whirly Girls International has announced the winners of their 2015 Whirly Girls Scholarship. The announcement of the 14 scholarship awards came at the 2015 Heli Expo Convention. The scholarships were designed to help each woman advance in their helicopter aviation careers. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. Congressman John Micah, the former chair of the House Transportation Committee, has drafted a bill that would privatize air traffic control in the United States. Micah presented the draft bill to the Aviation Subcommittee at their hearing earlier last week. Micah said, quote, after attempting various reorganizations over the past years and creating new positions like the chief operating officer, the FAA air traffic control system remains dysfunctional and behind schedule for technological and operational improvements, end quote. The Washington Post reports that NATCA President Paul Rinaldi and American Airlines CEO Doug Parker who is speaking on behalf of the airline lobbying group A4A, are in favor of the bill. Parker said the association would prefer a, quote, commercialized, nonprofit-type governance structure, end quote. Micah added, The time to stop talking is, is now the time to start acting. Well, that's our program for Monday, March 30th. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday. Join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.